what is happening you lot welcome back to the hashtag united channel today we have a cup game for you we've come all the way to Halstead and if you remember rightly if you watched this last season Halstead in our division furlough none played here in an incredible game I think there's nearly around about 800 people here and I'm walking into the goal right now this goal right here is where Tom Williams done his sort of bicycle kick clearance and Jacko got very low down here as well to help us secure the league. I think that was definitely a turning point in our season. But tonight, we're going to be getting some in the Essex Senior Cup. Let's go. What's the new winning song? We need to think of one. I'm not involved. I'm not involved. <laughs> I think it should be Luther Vandross, never too much. Mm. That is true. Big call. That is true. Isn't it? Big true. So that's the game face. I'm not. <laughs> He's so angry. I'm not. Actually, actually, I'm not. Actually, actually, game face. Game face. So angry. Oh, I'm not angry. I'm switching. I'm switching. Wait, game face. That's so angry. Let's talk us through this. So I've been, I've been wearing this for the last three games. Mm -hmm. We've won all three. I haven't conceded yet. Uh, my woman actually gave it to me, so I promise I'm going to wear it every game. So Willow, talk to me about the last time you were on this pitch. Um, top end all happened up there. Reverse whipped uh, eyeball David Beckham into the top bins, and then um, clearing off the line nearly put me back out. Do you go and recreate it? Uh, no, definitely <laughs> not. Oi, Yanni, you're on the clock, mate. Creating content. <laughs> Are you not going to be creating content? Mate, give me that job now. Give me that job. I could do that job. He don't work, does he? He's a don't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't got no inside knowledge. You got any inside knowledge? No. That's Lewis, that's Lewis Burkane. Come back. See, look, he's actually run away from me. This is who I just tried talking to on the other team. Lewis. Yeah, Burkane. Okay. He weren't having any of it. Are you ah. for him? Yeah, he's over there. <laughs> First start today, excited? Excited. It's a long time coming. <laughs> Clean sheets, got to keep the run going. Who's got a deadest haircut in the squad? <laughs> Obviously, Josh Osuda. <laughs> he wears a do rag and he hasn't got waves. <laughs> Zero waves. <laughs> I'm using tonight as an opportunity. Well, it's two things really. Uh, I want to see how we look with this shape and additional body up top. So we're going to go with a 3 5 2. Um, but also, player availability has slightly dictated that as well. Um, but I'm kind of interested. I'm quite excited to see how we fare like that. Uh, Stampy, when we've played that shape in pre-season, things like that, I think it really suits you. Right? Just, you've done really well, just make sure that you play that as you always do, concentration levels. Slightly lopsided in the wide areas, if you like, to the extent where we've got an out-and-out -out winger and then we've got more of a conventional midfielder that's probably got a bit of more defensive mindset about them. Set pieces will be key for us. We're big, I like the look of us. Make sure we get it right, the setup, Rick, get people attacking in the right areas. And they will want some kind of retribution for last season and so they'll be you know they'll be looking to put Saturday right and get themselves you know back performing at the level they know they're capable of I expect us to improve our performance levels from the weekend we were disappointed we were disappointed in ourselves all right and we've got but I don't look at this as there's changes so it doesn't matter what kind of performance we're a squad and every side that goes out every side we put out I'm confident in I expect us to really be at it I want to get into the next round of this competition come on let's go come on Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Hashtag United game. We're at a familiar place here, Rosemary Lane. We're taking on Halstead Town. We played them twice last season. We beat them twice last season. 2-1 and a 1-0 victory here, which I think sealed us the league title. It didn't mathematically do it, but it was a massive victory against our league title contender rivals. You may remember it. Tom Williams scored a free kick and did a clearance off the line. I think he's best display in a Hashtag shirt. I'm joined by Wes Tanser. Wes, what are you thinking about this BBC Essex Senior Cup game? 
It's going to be a good one, bit of a squad rotation. A hashtag academy player on the opposition side. Going to be a good watch. Yeah, he's referring to Lewis Burkane, who I'm sure you remember, uh, got to the last eight in the Hashtag Academy, played for us a little bit in pre-season, has been playing for the Sunday team as well. A real hot prospect. He's been dual registered with Holstead Town, who are in the league below us, obviously, as we got promoted and they didn't. Um, and he's playing against us tonight in centre-back. So we're going to see our boys up against Lewis Burkane, who's potentially someone that's going to play for Hashtag again in the future. Uh, they are top of the league below us right now. Played five games, won four of them. They lost the first game 5-0. Since then, they've won a lot. They've got one guy up front, Christopher Harris, who scored seven goals in three games. That's a lot of goals. And interestingly, Wes, as it's a cup game, and we played another game just a few days ago, Devs has rotated the side a little bit and a new formation. A 3-5-2. Uh, Stampy in the back. Uh, we've got Asude playing a bit more of a defensive role as a wing back today. So, yeah, lots of changes. Should be interesting. Both academy finalists start. Let's take a look at the team for Hashtag United. So in goal, making his first competitive appearance of the season is Kevin Clark, who's been brought in for Tim Pittman, who gets a little bit, a bit of a break tonight. And as Wes mentioned, we've got a back three. Tom Williams, Ferro Isingano, Marcus Stamp back in the side. Luke Wilson, who's been an absolute man mountain since he came to the side, is uh, given a little bit of a break tonight. He picked up an ankle knock on Saturday, but should be fine for our next league game. In centre mid, we've got Izu, hashtag academy runner-up, alongside Ricky Evans, Ross Gleed unavailable tonight. And that means our two wide men are Jack Martin on the left, Joshua Asude on the right, Ryan Adams behind not one, but two strikers, Richo and George Smith, both who have three goals apiece this season. On the bench, we have Kane Brogan, Lee Hursett, Harry Honesty, Tim Pittman and Samraj Gill. Let's play ball. And we get underway here then, hashtag United having kickoff. And Ricky Evans looks for Joshua Asude. Interesting to see how the back three formation works tonight. A little bit more information on this cup. It's the BBC Essex Senior Cup. We could play any team in Essex that choose to enter it, including the likes of Southend United, Colchester United. We're talking about football league teams that could be waiting for us if we progress far enough into the tournament. They're missing a few goals, but they have got Christopher Harris up front, who scored seven goals in three games. Could be dangerous. Asude is very dangerous here as he drops inside, tries to find Richo. He's going to win a corner. Corner to be taken by Tom Williams. Puts it in. It's a good ball. Dropping it at the near post. It's going to come to Jack Martin on the edge. He takes a touch. Hits it on the left. Gets through to Ricky Evans. Trying to poke it goalwards. Eventually clear. Did you want to see Jack hit that first time? Yeah, especially because I've got him in the sweepstake. <laughs> yeah, it was on his weaker foot. He wanted to get it over to his left, but didn't quite have enough time. Willow sends it forward. Goes all the way over to Joshua Sude on the right side. One on one against his man here. They've sent a few others over to help out. He's going to try and cross it in. George Smith gets it over to Ryan Adams! And he's captain Ryan with the goal. It started with Willow. He found Joshua Sude. Who found George? Who found Ryan? A lovely team goal, Wes. We are seeing what Ryan Adams is made of this season. He's played right back. He's played up front. He's played on the right wing. Now he's in the camp position and he's bagged the goal. Great little finish as well. Didn't have a lot of time to get it out of his feet and find the back of the net, but that's what he's done. He's got the most appearances of anyone in a Hashtag United shirt. Close to 100 games now. And he's had a fair few goals. He's not far off 50 goals for the club. Great to see him scoring another season. Well done, Ryan. I salute you, sir. First assist of the season for George Smith as well. Good to see that he can provide as well as score. Ryan Adams trying to get this ball back. George Smith comes in, gets a touch on it, but can't keep the ball. Eventually, on the second try, gets something more. Asude with a clever first-time pass to George, who sent it back to Asude, who's going to beat his man for pace, but he's going to whip it in with a great ball for Richo. What a pass that was from Josh, showing that he can do both there. He only took a couple of touches of the ball. It was a quick pass and another quick pass. And I like that from Josh. Changing up his game style a little bit. He's headed up by Halstead. It's a good win by them off the kick from the keeper Halstead now trying to deliver into the box maybe up against Tom Williams who's put a tackle in players gone to ground Crowder wanting a penalty ref says no and Farai is running out of defence here he gets it over to Ryan Adams Asude's making that run Ryan just can't pick it out trying to unlock the pace of Josh Asude down the right side were we lucky not to give away a pen there Wes? I think the linesman was, was waving his flag for something I think he thought it was a foul 
Ref disagreed. There's no VAR in the BBC Essex Senior Cup yet. Halstead with the throw in. Ryan Adams and Izu trying to team up and stop the pass. In oh, you know what? The ref's given a free kick. They ended up playing a fantastic cross to a man completely unmarked to the back. So if you're Holstead, you wanted that to be played on. It's, it's about 10 yards right of where Tom Williams put it top bins last season. O'Leary puts it towards the back post, headed away by Marcus Stamp. And back into the box. Oh, you know what? It's almost gone in. I don't know if Cav Clark got a touch on that or not, but that was a good ball. Caused a problem. I don't know if he's meant it, but it looked like it was going in the, the left post. Stampy again underneath the ball. Comes through to Izu, heads it, looking for Josh. Ricky Evans, good tackle from him in there. Oh, good feet. Oh, he's not met his man in the middle there. Fantastic bit of football from Ricky Evans. And now Willow sent it down the left side, looking for Jack Martin, but it's cleared. You ever seen Ricky Evans do that? Ricky Evans showing that he can go past people, going past one, Meg's in the other. Beautiful play. Willow throws it to Ricky, tries to head it back to him. And he goes back to Ricky again. That's nice from Hashtag. Ricky's now going to deliver it. Not a bad ball. Richo's in there. Connects with it beautifully. But unfortunately, it was fairly off target, Wes. Yeah, we've seen Williams and Ricky do that a couple of times this season. Seems to work well. The defence are generally not expecting it. It's a great ball in. And Richo was in the perfect position to head it. Tried to put it back towards the area it came from, towards the left-hand corner of the goal. But he's uh, missed the target by some distance, unfortunately. It's another free kick from Halstead. They've had a few from this exact spot now. This one coming in once again towards the back post. Headed down into the box. Going to be struck. Ricky Evans gets in the way of it. Strong tackle in from Jack Martin. Yet again, calls from Halstead for something. The shot was struck off target. Great work by Jack there. Getting in, making the tackle. Maybe should have kicked the ball long. But he's tried to dribble out of defence and, and been caught in possession. Uh, number two for Halstead. Sends it forward. That's Whitehead. Willow gets something on it. Halstead still coming forward. Farai sticking a foot in. Still Halstead on the ball. Farai just doing enough to keep him away. That's a good ball in though. Oh, and you know what? It was a similar header to what Richo had. Ball coming in from one side, trying to head it back the other way. Once again, this time Harris headed it quite far off target. Wouldn't have counted if it had gone in. Seems like the, the linesman's got his flag up. Kenasude keep this in. He's done well there, Asude. Oh, that's a foul. Definite foul from the number four, Burdett. Asude had beaten him. And the original lad who tried to stop the ball staying in, Whitehead for Halstead is staying down with an injury. Another chance for Tom Williams to test the waters with one of his free kicks here. I think he's just going to whip this one in towards the penalty spot, I'd suggest. There's the ball. It's a great ball. He's headed. Oh, and it's Richo. And you have to say, fair play to the keeper, made an important save. It was straight at him, but it had to be done. Yeah, Richo managed to get the, the flick on. Fortunately, right at the keeper. But, yeah, good, good cross by Willow. Stampy. Towards Izu. And there's the half-time whistle. So it's 1-0 to hashtag at the break. Where's main thoughts from the first half? Uh, we've, we've looked good. I do think we have looked like conceding a couple of moments in the game. But, yeah, overall pretty good for a new formation, new team. Exactly right. We'll see what Des has to say and we'll see you again for the second half soon in this BBC Essex Senior Cup matchup. We've been really good. Absolute threat every time we go forward. As a back three, you've been brilliant. You've been really good, really, really bright. Only two times I've got a question mark against you it was right at the beginning of the half and right at the end of the half where it gets a little bit congested and you're looking to run people from deep. Just think about it. It's like that. If you lose the ball there, then we're in trouble. Other than that, it's been great. And some of the balls you put in have been fantastic. We've had chances. And I think of a couple of times where we're in. And, we're, and the one, the obvious ones, you, Ryan, where you're in. And, you, and, and it's kind of almost like a panic to find the pass. So much space. It's, it's so quick when you're putting him in. Yeah, yeah. You haven't got to be so precise. Play it into the space. And then the other ones, and you're doing the same thing. You get yourself in a great position. And you're almost expecting the player to just kind of step out of the way and let you play through. Trying to play through people. Play safe side. Play safe. Err on the side of caution. If it goes out, the worst we have to do is defend a throw or a goal kick. I can accept that. But when we're trying to be over, over precise and over clever, when we don't have to be, 
that's when we get ourselves into trouble. It's going to be a test of your discipline because it's different from what you were Saturday. You're not that advanced player. I need you to hold, be disciplined and be breaking on. The same as you're doing it from the front, but be breaking onto the balls around and moving the ball quickly. If we can get the ball into the wide areas and we can get that final ball in, we will create more chances. We need to start taking our chances because we've had some great chances. It's been good. You've been good. Debs, reasonably happy with that first half performance. Wants to make sure we keep our heads in the game. Get ourselves in the next round. Let's go. Hashtag. Keeper's going to send it long. Ricky Evans. Oh, don't think he meant that. Number 14 running down the wing. That's Posco who came on as a half, uh, a first half substitute. Long range shot. You know what? Cav Clark was struggling to get across his goal there. Luckily, he's off target. Willow throws it across to Stampy. He's got Asude out on the right and he finds him with a left-footed pass. Asude touched inside. Now he turns on the afterburners. Look at him go. Can he get a shot off here? It's a good tackle. The ball's going to go in though. It is. No. Is it? Has it crossed the line? I don't think it has. The goal's not been given. He's bounced off the post. Somehow it stayed out. How that's not gone in, I don't know. Stampy's played a beautiful ball out to Asude. Suda has done about three people, played it to the back post and it's hit the post and trickled across the line. House did back on the ball. They have dominated possession so far in the second half. That's not a great clearance from the keeper. Jack Martin doing very well and he's got a real spring in his step in this second half. He's got a few players in the box. Does he deliver? There's the ball towards the back and that is a quality goal. Jack Martin, well done my son. What an assist, Jack finding himself on the left wing. Similar area to where he gave away a foul, foul just earlier. What a ball, what a finish. Richo with the goal, making him top goal scorer for the season now with four goals. Only downside of this uh, post goal aftermath is that Tom Williams is gonna pick himself up a yellow card. I'm not sure what for. And if it's for the sin, are we playing the sin bin? He's got a red. He's got a red. It's a red. Tom Williams has been sent off. I don't know what happened. He must have said something. I don't think it was for a foul. It's a straight red card. We don't know why that's happened. It's we're actually the first straight red card hashtag United have been shown in non-league history. And with Izu off the pitch, I don't know what Devs is going to change to. Probably a 4 4 2. He has to drop Jack Martin into left back. Sampi goes centre back. Or Ricky Evans, maybe. We've also got Kane on the bench who could slot in at right back. It didn't look like the referee was going for a red card immediately. I don't know if, if Willow's talked himself into it. Now, we had two, two sending offs last year, both uh, two yellow cards. One was to Willow after the game. And one was to Matt Carter. So Jack Martin looks to have dropped back into left back and Ryan Adams has gone to right back for now in a back four. And we'll just continue as we were otherwise, I guess. Maybe George Smith dropping in a little bit deeper, it seems. It's going to be a battle for the rest of the game and it will be a ban for Tom Williams as well. Kept in on the right side for Halstead. Cross coming into the box. For I get something on it. It's going to be a goal, surely! How have they not kept that on target because it would have gone in but still no goal for Halstead massive chance for Chris Harris seemed like everyone had stopped I think Farai just missed it swung and a miss and then he, he seemed to have a lifetime to be able to, to pick his spot but he's blasted it over there this man's unmarked gets it from the thrower goes back to the thrower it's Whitehead the right back he's going to deliver but Lee Hurst closes down Stampy's going to head away again George Smith's going to try and keep this, but Hashtag just can't keep the ball. And it's going to be a free kick for Halstead now. Free kick for Halstead, whipped in by Monday, the left back. Needs a header on! Cav Clark collects it. Once again, Halstead knock on the Hashtag door, but no one was home. And the ball's going to come to George Smith here. And he's running through, trying to get the ball off. Lewis Burkane getting it across here. Lee Hurst, it closes it down. And hashtag not giving it up. Strong tackle from George Smith and the ref loved it. No issue. Ricky Evans 
playing it into George Smith. Can he finish? Oh, he's just tried to work it up and over the keeper, but couldn't keep it on target. The refs had a good view of that one. It was a sliding tackle by George Smith just before the chance. Chance here for Halstead. Oh, he's made his way into the box. Pass one, pass two. Jack Martin comes across and saves the day. And then Farai clears it. I mean, you've got to say Halstead have done everything but score in this game. They've still not forced a great save out of Cav Clark, though. Halstead have a free kick in a very dangerous area. It's about 20 yards out, just on the edge of the box. If they score this, they'll make it 2-1. Can they do it? There's the hit. Good save from Cav Clark, who keeps the clean sheet run protected for now. I think he's seen it late, but he's got down well, made the save. Throwing for Halstead. Into the box, needs to be cleared. It's going to go high. A lot of players underneath it. Turn, deflection, Burkane hits it. Lee Hurst it, takes a touch and now can clear it. Takes his time clearing it though and doesn't get enough on it. And the ref stop play for what looks like a potential injury. Is it Stampy? Yeah, Stampy's down holding his knee. Give me a drop ball. Whipped in by Monday. And off the pitch. That's a foul from Pavitt, I think. Jack Martin's lost his boot. This ball's going to go in behind for Rye. He's got to watch it all the way. And he heads it behind for a corner, I think. Corner for Halstead. Whipped in. Towards the back post. Headed! And it looks from our angle like it was going in. It's gone off target. There's a bit of a kerfuffle on the pitch, though. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's not pretty. Cav Clark's run straight over to the referee to complain about something. Farai's on the floor. Farai's down. It looks like it's just a bit of cramp, but something is kicking off over there. There's no doubt Halstead do not like us. We beat them twice last season. We stopped them getting promoted. I don't think they've forgotten. There was not one man not getting involved with that fist to cuff. That was Louis Berkane. And there we go. That's another red card. This time for the, for the Halstead centre-back. The man who had the header, I believe, I think. The man who headed the ball off target, number four, has been sent off. Burdett. So he's evened it up now. Halstead trying to whip it back in here. Cleared by Ricky Evans. Keepers come to get it, but the ref blows the whistle. It's all over. It's a 2-0 win for Hashtag. Three times we've played Halstead Town now since we started the non-league journey. We've beat them every time, which is no small feat because they're a decent side. They're top of the league below, and they're not going to be beaten many times this season. We did lose a man, Tom Williams, to a red card. We remain to be seen exactly what happened and how long the ban will be. But ultimately, Wes, you've got to be happy with the result. Yeah, we showed a lot of grit and determination there in the second half. A lot of the young boys really stepping up, especially the, the defence. And Wiz, have you got a man of the match for us? It, it could be one of a few players. Uh, I'm going to go with Jack Martin. He's had a fantastic game, got an assist, and he's really going to have to step, step up now given the, the Tom Williams ban. Jack Martin, youngest ever player to play for Hashtag in non-league. Youngest ever goal scorer to score for Hashtag in non-league. And now the youngest ever man of the match recipient in non-league. Good performance from him. And as you mentioned, it could be very important because we're going to lose Tom Williams for a few games. But we go through to the next round of the BBC Essex Senior Cup and we'll see you another game soon. See what Devs has to say. The way we spoke about half-time, about being deep by ready to press, counter, absolutely amazing from you, the interception, and a brilliant delivery and a great finish. Don't underestimate how difficult that finish is. And it comes from us being bright. It started the second half so well. You were good first half, you looked to fret. The character, the desire, the togetherness, the fight, the belief. Oh, what people that haven't played, cramping, collapsing. I can't afford to make a substitution in case someone else, I'm trying to drag it out as long as I can so I don't waste subs so we don't end up with nine and you stuck at it and you went through it. Defensively, when you have to drop back in, when you had to drop back in, phenomenal. I've got centre forwards playing in midfield and chasing things and becoming a midfielder come centre forward. I've got wide players running and tracking back and playing like full backs, defending like our lives depended on it. That, that's a team. That's a real team performance, that. I am 
so proud of that performance. So proud of that performance. See you tomorrow. We're here, skipper Ryan Adams after a 2-0 win. What made that game so hard? It looked tough. Um, well, I don't know. I thought first half we looked comfortable. We looked bright. You know, going forward we looked really sharp. Um, new system was in place today, so you know that was good to get that out in the first half, and we looked good. Uh, going into the second half, we knew it was, there was always going to come at us. You know, with that intensity that they bring, so we just meant we had to sit back and take it a little bit and hit them on the counter attack, and we did. You know, and that's what we did pretty well today. And so, yes, guys, this is where the video is going to be wrapped up. I hope you have enjoyed it. Some incredible battles on display. Amazing character. Force it out to the end, even though we had a man down. But, guys, the next game, which may actually be when you're watching this, is on Saturday away at Sawbridge Worth Town. If you want to see you there, click the links down in the description on how you can get to that game. But, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And as always, don't forget the hashtag.